Hey, everybody. Uh, I'm sorry that I'm having to record on my Chromebook again. I don't know what's going on with my um, other camera, but it's not working to, this week. Um, so I want to talk to you guys. Yesterday, you read about uh, Title I schools, which most of the schools in our area are Title I schools. Um, and I told you it was the beginning of the community project, which will be your last project. Um, your project will be due at the end of your six weeks. And I want, so I want you to take some time and effort. We're gonna have, you'll have some um, other things to do along the way. <clears throat> but the reason why we're doing this community project is it kind of encompasses all the things that we've done. Um, don't forget you do have your uh, muscles test coming up. But remember that in healthcare, um, our care for our patients or our care for our customers it doesn't just stop when they leave our building. We have to be sure that patients can get their medicines, they can get the treatment they needed, whether it's physical therapy or it is um, maybe they need transportation to another doctor or maybe they need some kind of treatment to patients who can't afford it. So, Part of doing your job as a healthcare worker is understanding and knowing what resources are available in the community. Um, an example is a patient with a bad wound. If they're not getting enough protein and vitamin C and zinc, that wound is not going to heal. We have to have appropriate nutrition. So we need to make sure that patient has food at home. Um, not just teaching them about what to eat, but we got to make sure they have access to it. So part of our community project is going to be to find out what's available in your community. Do you have um, food pantries at local churches? Do you have indigent care in your community? Um, and indigent care means it's care either based on what someone's income is or it could be completely free. How do patient, What services are available for patients who can't, get their, can't afford their medicines? What about um, patients who can't, don't can't drive how do they get to the doctor so <clears throat> this project is going to be to find what community services are available to your in your community and in the surrounding community so if you're in hunt county you might want to look what's available in rockwall county or in hopkins county because sometimes patients are referred out to that area um, for a different type of doctor um, if you live in Hopkins County, then you might, but it's maybe you live in a rural part of Hopkins County, then you need to make sure how patients can get food. How can they um, get to the doctor if they go to Sulphur Springs or Greenville? So we're going to look at all of those things. Um, also, we need to look at what the impact of not just education, because you looked at education yesterday. And part of being able to teach patients how to take care of themselves is knowing what the, ed their ed the educational level is around them. So now we're going to look at what health care, if low income health care does to uh, someone. How does that impact them? How does that impact their family and how does it impact our community? So we're going to look at that. Um, and during that time, you're going to be doing research and finding um, what resources are available in your county and in the surrounding counties. So like I, we're in Delta County and students here in class with me will be looking for what, what is available in Hopkins and Hunt and in Lamar County because that's all the way around us and in Fannin. Um, I want you to look at at least two counties, the things that are available, transportation, um, food, um, help with electrical bills. It's fixing to be summer. Um, what can APS, Adult Protective Services, what can they do to help someone get fans or an air conditioner? So I want you guys to kind of be doing research in that. I'm going to put your rubric up on Thursday. I want you, because you have a test on Wednesday, I'm going to put your rubric up on Thursday along with the explanation of what this project is. And today you're going to read an article about the impact of low income areas and how it relates to health care. So be sure you read your article and make some notes from that article that can help you with your project. Same thing with your article on education yesterday. You should have been looking at what 
what does your school provide? What do surrounding schools provide? Most of you have either been to, visited, played sports against, or um, been around in UIL or whatever. You've been around people in other schools, maybe FFA or whatever. Um, you've been in, been around students from other schools and you see resources they have that maybe you don't have or you see resources you have that maybe they don't have. Um, maybe other schools don't have a program where they get um, health science or maybe their ag department isn't very active or maybe um, they don't have um, a school nurse. So I want you to be looking at, that's what you should have taken from yesterday. What has, how it does being in a low income school, what are the positives and negatives of that? Um, now you're going to be looking at how a low income health care impact, low income impact, affects health care in your area. Um, we have a lot of people in our area that are, old, that are older that only have Medicare and Social Security as income. It's not a lot to try to live on. So we're going to look at that. I'll give you some, when I give you your, the full assignment and your rubric, I'll give you some locations to look up, um, like um, the Census Bureau to look at the average income in your, in your county, where you can look up the number of, like the age range in your county. Also, where you can look at the number of people on, on um, that are receiving government services um, relate, related to income. So you'll have some, some information also to help you research this. And I'll make you a video, another video that helps um, explain it in a little more detail. And please, if you guys have questions about this project, because it's going to be your final test grade, um, you're going to have some daily grades related to it, and then you'll have a test grade uh, related to it. You're going to do it as a group project, but you're also going to get an individual test grade based on you as an individual um, turning your part in on time. So um, it'll actually count as two test grades. Uh, and then in the next week or so, next week, um, you should have your review for your final exam uh, and you, so that you can get ready for that, okay? All right, you guys, I hope you have a great week. Uh, good luck on your test tomorrow, and I will talk to you later. Thanks, everybody.